So they're trying to find a, a predictor of which hospitals will have better outcomes after esophagectomies. Um, they're going to use a, they're using a very large administrative database, national database, to which 95% of hospitals in the United States participate. Uh, and the way this data set works is they randomly choose 20% of the hospitals and they, on a yearly basis, uh, rotate through those different hospitals. And using that data, they're trying to find correlates of what predicts better outcome hospitals. They readily admit that we already know that high volume centers do better. And then the question is, does complexity of case mix also contribute to predicting which hospitals do better? So the large, larger trend out there is whether healthcare should be regionalized, especially for complex procedures where there's a direct correlation between high volume centers, at least that we know of as of now for esophagectomies. But the question is, can you find additional reasons why we should regionalize? So this was a retrospective study that took place over 10 years of a large administrative data set, a nationally administered data set, which uh, looked at whether the presence of a, in a hospital of complex uh, esophageal operations as defined by using something other than the stomach for a conduit for an esophagectomy can help predict which hospitals will have better outcomes. And they looked at a whole slew of um, variables in addition to those variables to see if, in a multivariate analysis, it's still predictive of um, length of stay and mortality rate. So in their, um, which, I will criticize, which I will critique, but in their multivariate analysis, they concluded that complexity of case mix in a hospital with at least one case a year of a complex esophageal operation can help predict which hospitals will have a lower mortality rate and a shorter length of stay for their patients. Sure, so the, the elephant in the room here is clinical volume or, or uh, case volumes. That we know is predictive. We've known that for 15, 20 years is predictive of outcomes for esophagectomies. Higher volume hospitals have better outcomes. And in their multivariate analysis, they didn't account for volume. And in the discussion uh, component of the paper, they do say that when they stratify for volume, in fact, those pre the predictive value of complexity goes away. And in fact, in one subset of patients with high, in high volume hospitals, those that do lower complexity uh, cases, in fact, have a lower mortality rate. So that really raises the question as to the confounding effect of um, case volume in their analyses, which they didn't account for. They don't really go into the detail. It's a big administrative database data set that doesn't have a lot of granularity in it. Their definition is one operation or more a year. So it's very hard to talk about volume when it's only one operation. So it was a fairly loose and perhaps controversial uh, explanation or description of what's a complex operation. So standard esophagectomy in the United States use the stomach as a conduit to replace the esophagus. And in their definition, it's any operation that was an esophagectomy that did not use the stomach as a replacement conduit, presumably the colon or the small bowel instead. Well, there's a couple potential concerns. One is it's some, some center's first choice of uh, uh, conduit to use as the colon or the small bowel, depending on the operation, may be the more appropriate one, not necessarily a reflection of complexity. Sometimes it's being done because of a prior complication from a quote-unquote non-complex esophagectomy, meaning the esophageal conduit, the gastric conduit failed from one operation and they requir it required another operation to fix that problem. So it could be a reflection of bad outcomes. Yeah, so I, I think what this data set does, and it's included in the uh, discussion component of the paper, is it confirms the suspicion that in the United States, most hospitals that do esophagectomies do very few of them. On average, about four per year for hospitals in the United States. And we know that, that there's a direct correlation between volume and outcomes. And the, the this data would suggest that if hospitals do, let's say, more than 25 a year, they're much more likely to have better outcomes than hospitals that do fewer. And so when you see that the average is only four in the United States, you know that we have a lot of work to do to try to regionalize uh, this uh, cancer operation. Beyond that, the data here also shows that over the course of the 10 years of the data accumulation that, in fact, there has been some regionalization because there's more cancer operations being done in fewer hospitals, so the conclusion has to be that fewer hospitals are doing more. So the, the literature would suggest that if you do 25 or more esophagectomies a year, uh, you're more likely to have better outcomes than if you do fewer. I suspect it's not a direct cutoff, so it's a linear correlation. The more you do, the more likely you are to have better outcomes. So 
it's hard to draw a cutoff number below which a hospital shouldn't be allowed to do it. Clearly, if hospitals do fewer than 25 a year, it's probably not good enough. So th this paper is incapable of um, explaining why length of stay was different among different hospitals. So there's various reasons why you could have variations in length of stay. One of them is pathways, patient care pathways, which some hospitals may have and some may not. So you could suspect that a high volume center may have more pathways and that therefore that's why the length of stay was shorter, not necessarily because they were better at doing the operation. I think primarily that it reinforces the fact that volume is correlated to outcomes for complex operations. I don't think I could draw much from the complexity issue because I don't think this paper answers that. But it definitely confirms the fact and corroborates the fact through a different set of data that volume is directly correlated with outcome.